Hello everyone, it's me Juan and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to show you how to solve systems of two equations with two variables by substitution. Let's get started. So for our example, we're going to use the following system of equations. We have 2x minus y is equal to 5 and we're going to call that our equation 1. And we have 5x plus 2y is equal to 8, and we're going to call it our equation 2. So the first thing that we have to do is choose any of our equations and solve for any variable that we want. In this case, I'm going to choose the first equation, and I'm going to solve for y. So we're going to add y on both sides and subtract 5 on both sides. So we end up with 2x minus 5 is equal to y. And just rearranging, so we have our isolated variable on the left, just because we want to, we're gonna end up with y is equal to 2x minus 5. Now we're gonna sub in what we got here in the other equation. So we know that y is equal to 2x minus 5. So we're gonna rewrite this, just sub it in this and y. So we end up with 5x plus 2 times whatever we had in y, so 2 times x minus 5, and that's equal to 8. So we're going to start doing some algebra here. So, well, our 5x is going to remain the same. 2 times 2 is 4x, and negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, is equal to 8. Now that we just have one variable, which is x, we're going to solve for that variable. So 5x plus 4x is equal to 9x. And we're going to add 10 on both sides of the equation. So this 10 will become a 0, and we're going to add 10 here. So we end up with an 18. Now we're going to divide both sides by 9, so we get rid of this 9 that is with our x. So x is equal to 18 over 9. This 9 will cancel out with this 18, becoming a 2. So, x is equal to 2. Finally, we're just going to back substitute the variable of which we have already found the value. We know that x is equal to 2. So from here, we know that x is equal to 2. We're just going to sub in 2 for x. So y is equal to 2 times x, which is 2, minus 5. So y is equal to 4 minus 5, and y is equal to negative 1. Now it's time to write our answer down. We're going to say that x is equal to 2, and that y is equal to negative 1. Or if you just want to put it in a point notation, it would be the coordinates 2 and negative 1. Because we know that our coordinates are going to be, the first value is always going to be x, and the second value is going to be our y. So that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know whether or not you guys liked it or not. So I know if I'm going to keep on doing this kinds of videos. Furthermore, <laughs> please let me know what kind of topics you want me to go over in my next videos. It would be really helpful. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. It is important. And uh, yeah, now I'll see you all in my next week's video. Bye. Beautiful.